We gathered in your name. Though there might be a few of us in front of a camera, we give you praise anyhow. Because we see beyond the camera. And we see our sisters and our brothers in their homes, in their cars, driving down the street, sitting with family or sitting alone. We recognize, oh God, that you are worthy to be praised. And so now, God, thank you for bringing us over these 16 months. And on next Sunday, God, we pray that you gather, help us to gather together again in person. That we might come together safely. And Father, those who will still be at home, that they'll still feel the energy of us who are gathered together next week. By watching virtually and understanding, God, that in due season, all of us will come together again. And so now, God, bless the rest of this worship. We give you praise in the name of Jesus. Come on, tell the Lord, amen.
worshiping him for all that he's done. If you don't mind in your house, just lift up your voice and say, thank you, Jesus. Come on, let's give him some praise. Hallelujah. Come on, just, just give God some praise. You wave your hands, amen, all in your house, in your cars, and wherever you may be, just pause for a moment and let them know that you love the Lord, amen. And tell them how good God has been to us over this past year. Amen. Hallelujah. And we're so grateful for God, Jesus, and all the saints of God. Father, we thank you again for today and for all that you've afforded us to do and for just letting us be here to share with you on this first Sunday, God. We are so grateful that this is the last Sunday that we will be here and we will be back in the place. Well, next week, we'll be back in the church, back together again, where we can share one with the other and we can preach word from the Lord, from our pastor, Dr. B. Lamar Mumford. And again, we're so grateful for him, for our church family, for our first lady. And we're just grateful, God, that you give us this chance. And then, Lord, thank you for me being able to have another opportunity to brag on you. So I give you the praise and glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. I uh, was listening to a song the other day and it was uh, Roberta Flack and Donnie Hathaway. And that song was they were singing back together again. Amen. I am looking so forward to on next Sunday that we can come into the building and we can share one with the other and just see some saints of God that I haven't saw in a long time. You know, and it's just it's just amazing. And you know, there's no secret what God can do. What He's done. For others, he can do the same thing for you. Amen. Amen. So we are grateful again, and we will try to move expeditiously through the message. Uh, I know on last week, Pastor Monfort preached a dynamic message from Second Chronicles, seven chapter, uh, uh, fourteen, seven chapter, verse fourteen. Amen. So today we will deal with the song that says, hey, "Amen." If you don't mind. Uh, wherever you at, just tune in with your phones, your Bible, uh, tune in to Psalms 107, Psalms 107, 107 division, 107 division of Psalms commencing with verse 1, just one verse, and we will get out your way. Uh, again, the Bible says in the 107 Psalms, verse 21, it says, let us give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for me. Amen. Amen. Uh, back together, again, we, we look at the story of David, and we won't just go too far, but we know David had some weaknesses. He had some things that he did that was not becoming of the Lord. Uh, and I think one of the things David did was he was able to extra, exercise God's grace. All right. He was able to exercise God's grace. Uh, he was able to, to look at the forgiveness of God in his life, the mercy of God because of his sinful actions. But not only was David, King David, a man of weaknesses, King David was a man of strengths, many strengths, many strengths. The Bible talks about King David was courageous and strong in battle. And then it says, uh, and trusting God for protection, he loved God deeply throughout his entire life. All right. The Bible talks about David, calls David a man after God's own heart. Amen? Amen. So, again, David was a man of weaknesses, but of strength. But then th th there are some valuable points that David had. Uh, number one, uh, David was a worker. Now, in 
order, in order for us as saints of God to be a worker, we must understand that we will go through some spiritual pain. Can I get a witness? Spiritually, we will suffer some pain. Matthew 9, and, uh, chapter 9, verse 37 said, Then he said to the disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into the harvest field. Well, we have to know that sometimes working for the Lord don't necessarily feel good. All right. There are some times that we have to go the extra mile. We have to, we have to sacrifice some things, sacrifice our, ourselves, our, our homes, our families, and, and, and we have to sacrifice in order to be a worker for the Lord throughout this last year, through this pandemic. Those of us that have still been working for the Lord, we suffer some kind of spiritual pain. Matter of fact, when you are a Christian, some folk just don't remember, or they rather they remember who you were, and they don't never want to accept who God has made you to be. Can I get a witness? Some folk will constantly look at look at you from a different way because they refuse to accept, acknowledge how God has brought you from a mighty long way. They won't, they won't give you the credit that's just due because of what you've been through and what God has made you. So therefore we suffer some spiritual pain being a worker of the Lord. David, David suffered some spiritual pain. But then watch this right here. David was a worshiper. And, and I'm just giving you some of the things that we must focus on when we come back in to the building on next week. David was a worshiper. In order to be a worshiper, we must understand that we will deal with some, some spiritual, physical issues. Yeah. There will be a, listen, watch this right. We suffer spiritually uh, uh, painfully, and then we suffer spiritually when it comes to the physical attributes of being a worshiper. John chapter 4, verse uh, 23 and 24 said, Yet a time is coming, now has come, when the true worshiper will worship the Lord or the Father in spirit and in yeah. truth. For they are all, there are all kinds of worshippers the Father seeks. Verse 24 says, God is spirit. Can I get a witness? God is spirit. Now, God is spirit, and it says, and his worshiper must worship him in spirit. Somebody say in true. And in true. So again, David, being a bad boy, he still had some good strength even in his weaknesses because he was a worker and then he was a worshiper. And being a worker, he suffered some spiritual pain. And then being a worshiper, he suffered some spiritual, physical issues. Can I get a witness? Now, watch this right here. David not only was a worker or not only was he a worshiper, David was a witness. David had a way of witnessing about what the Lord has brought him through. Yeah. You, 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 you know what I you know what I figured out, Brother Marty. I figured this out. I figured out, you know, people don't necessarily want to see where you are. They want to know where God has brought you from. They don't want to know, they want to know those those secrets that 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 we kept and how God has delivered us from our physical, spiritual, and our mental issues. Listen, don't, 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 don't you ever think that going through this last year, through this pandemic with people, loved ones, those that have been around us, those friends that have lost their lives due to COVID and so many other things have taken place. There are more alcoholics now than they ever were before. There are more drug addicts now than they ever were before because this pandemic had a way of isolating and then isolate and conquer those because of the, the, the disease of, of this pandemic. And guess what happened? We began to suffer from a mental aspect. Yeah, yeah. When you when you look at this pandemic and you look at how we've not been able to frequent the church, uh, uh, the physical building, when you 
look at how we've been isolated to ourselves and our homes and we've not been able to connect with those friends and we've not been able to connect with those people that mean the most but when we look at some folk have lost their jobs and their homes, their cars and some folk, their children can't stop by as much as they would we have suffered mentally through this last year but there is still some good news even though we've been through something isn't it amazing how God still sits on the throne can I get a witness Okay, 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 watch this. Listen, when I'm talking about God sitting on the throne, I'm talking about even through this past year, we learned how to pray harder. We listen, we learned that in the wee hours of the night when there's nobody there, that we can pause just for a moment and talk to Jesus. You can be in your bed with your spouse and still be lonely and have an opportunity to talk to God all about your problems. And guess what, brothers and sisters? When you talk to God, he always gives an answer. Yeah. Can I get a witness? So, there are still some good news. Yeah, okay, yeah, watch yeah, this right yeah. here. Psalm 127 and 1 says, Unless the Lord builds the house, its builders are labored in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchmen stand in vain. Watch this right here. When we come up out of this thing, God, listen, God, God, listen, David, David was a man after God's own heart and King Solomon was succeeded David and, and then when you look at Solomon succeeding David, here comes Psalm 127 and Solomon telling us how we must build the house. We must come back in the house with, with, with worship on our minds, with, with being able to, to, to have fellowship on our minds, being able to have good companionship on our minds. We must come back in the worship being prepared for what God has for us. Yeah. Okay, okay. Let, let, let me say this to you. We won't be long, but watch this right. When we come back to worship, we must come back to worship with our shouting shoes on. Because guess what? We got a whole lot to shout about, a whole lot to be grateful for. Listen, when you talk about gratitude, we have a whole lot to be grateful for because God has seen us through. If you all, if, if you here, if you in your house, if you in your car, uh, wherever you may be, if you able to lift up your hands and clap your hands and open up your mouth and tell the Lord thank you, then you experience the gratitude of God. Can I get a witness? Somebody ought to be grateful today because God saw us through a trying time. God saw us through some darkness. God saw, Grandma talking about the light being at the end of the tunnel. That was time that I couldn't even see the tunnel. But now here it is, 16 months later, God did allow me to see just a breach of light. I can, I can see, I can see, I can see my way through now. I, 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 I can feel, listen, I can, I can feel my way through this thing. I can see some light. I can see the results of the Lord right now because of me staying focused and, and, and trying to stay physically and spiritually and mentally equipped to deal with the things of God. I've learned how to pray harder. I've learned how to love harder. I've learned how to speak harder. I've learned how to be some. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things be, uh, goes away. Behold, all things become new. I've learned how to live a different life because of what God has brought me through. Yeah. Listen, when God, when God, when God bring you through something, sure. listen, you, 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 we, we don't know how to witness to the Lord until he brought us out. Listen, you, 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 you ever been in a trying situation where you didn't seem as if you was going to make it? And lo and behold, God shows up out of nowhere and make a way out of nowhere. You, you ever been through something and then you look around, God that bridged can I get a witness? When you look at yourself right now and all that you've been through over this last year, you ought to shout. Hallelujah. You ought to give God all the praise 
the glory and the honor because he's worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't, we don't pray to God just because we want God to give us something. We pray to God because he is worth it. Say God is worth it. God, God, God is worthy of all of our praise. God is worth it. God gives us so much until he worth it. I'm not talking about giving us money, cars, and houses. I'm talking about God woke us up this morning in our right mind. He was able to let us look outside and see the sun shining again. We were able to lift up our hands and open up our mouths and raise our voices. God is worth it. Yes, He's worth all of our praise, our glory, and our honor. So come next Sunday, my fellow brothers and sisters, we get a chance to meet up. Say it one more time. We get a chance to be in the house one more time. Yeah. Where we can fellowship together. Where we can have companionship together. Where we can have relationship together. Isn't that a blessing that God has afforded us to see this happen again? Some folk didn't ever think it would get to this point. But here it is. God has something up his sleeve. Can I get a witness? God had something up his sleeve in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. God keep you. May it forever shine upon you. Thank you for allowing me to share with you today. And I got to be honest with you. I'm just about excited. I'm, I'm so, listen, I'm so full of what God has done in my life until I, 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 I just can't really explain what God has done for me. That's how grateful I am. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, everybody. Ooh, what a wonderful word. Psalm 107, preached by Reverend Bruce Mumford. God is so good. Yes, we want to extend an opportunity for you to come to know the Lord Jesus Christ, the Savior of your life, the Savior and Lord of your life. If you do not have a church home, we want to welcome you and invite you and welcome you to be a part of the Philippian family. Uh, you can contact us on website or you can contact us by way of our social media uh, platforms but uh, we so just please or call 419-229-1441 and we will reach out to you on next Sunday morning we will be get together again uh, I want to explain to you that we will ask everyone to come uh, we start right at 10 right at 10 because we will also be doing virtual uh, as well as in person. Uh, so those of you who just cannot make it, we will have a virtual for those of you who cannot make it, those of you who can. We want you to start coming in between 9.30 and uh, before 10, so we can start right at 10. Uh, you, we have safety protocols in place. We ask that you obey your ushers, and uh, they will give you, you can't come in and find your favorite seat. Uh, we, it may not be available. We want you to be safe. And I believe that the way we've been preaching and singing in this house, every seat is sanctified. So whichever one you sit in, you're going to be all right. So we want to ask you to please come and be a part of this morning worship. You will be wearing masks. Our worship will be from 10 to 9.45, no later than 9.55. We want to get you in 10, 10 55, 9 55 to start no later than 10 and uh and done 10 55 i'm sorry and so we want to make sure you get here and be in place so we start right at 10 a.m uh, please uh if you've not been vaccinated it's not mandatory for you to be vaccinated uh here to come here but you it is mandatory everyone wears their mask and we would ask you uh, please consider being uh, vaccinated. Uh, it would be powerful. In fact, if enough people want to do that, we will be coordinating with one of our local clinics and have them available to do it on a Sunday morning. <clears throat> so we love all of you. Bring your tithes in. Come on, we need your tithes. 
and uh, we ask that you bring them in now. Uh, you can give by way of Give the Five, uh, Philippi and Lima, or you can also uh, come and the deacons will come and be uh, available between 11 and uh, 1215 this morning, or you can drop them off later this week in the uh, mailbox uh, and send them by via mail. You have the address. We love you. God bless you. Now may his grace, his love, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit be with you now. Therefore, and all people of God say, Amen.